Welcome to Example Instruments 9 ADSR with GUI. This is not going to be a coding example so much. Um, there is another example that illustrates, shows and talks about how the ADSR amplitude envelope is used and uh, how that looks in code. This example is actually pretty similar with the only difference that it actually um, gives you a graphical representation of the ADSR um, when, you, um, when you run it. So here we have the, um, the sketch running now and when I press the mouse we hear um, <coughs> the note played and when the screen turns dark then we are pressing the button and when you let it go, it turns white again. Okay, that's all very self-explanatory. Um, what's actually quite nice or quite uh, a different approach to, to this whole envelope thing is now that we, we don't have to like type in numbers, but we can use this very simple slider um, element component that, that is also part of the code here down there. It's actually a little small little class that um, <clears throat> can also be reused for other things. Um, but since this is a, yeah, a graphic representation, it might also become more intuitive to use it. So you can really explore and play around with the effects of, um, of the different, um, of the four different values. So um, a very short attack gives you like a, yeah, almost blippy, punchy, um, punchy kind of sound and a very slow attack gives you like this long fading in sound and um, yeah so again like this is really really good f to in order to explore and understand the, the um, ADS are visually better um, essentially, you could also use this, reuse this, maybe also to. Um, that's actually not part of the example, but it was just, it just came into my mind that you could also, you know, when you press a key, you could also write this, um, the current um, configuration of the ADSR. You could also um, print that into the um, into the into the terminal here so um, that you and that you could maybe just transfer them to um, to yeah it's just lazy copying code here you can just transfer it to your own application so uh, so that you could use this GUI to find like a good configuration um, for your purposes and then um, and then you press a key and then you get like the the values um, that you've chosen. So we could do something like this, for example, print ln a so this will give us the all the value, values of the current configuration <coughs> and then we have like a bit of a separation here so when we run it now mm, we could like configure something very special like this very smooth sound and when we press a key then we see the um, ADSL values which we could then copy to another application or something like this that was it um, very brief introduction, demonstration of the GUI and the ADSR. Okay, I hope you still liked it, despite its briefness, um, and see you in the next one.